Hi, today I'm going to share with you how I use the wire cords lower thirds and feed them to the ATM television studio. First, you need to launch your Wirecast application. Next, create a blank shot. Okay. Click on this plus sign as a source and select the T sign here to add lower thirds. For my example, I'll be using this blue dawn lower thirds. Next, key in the text. Um, let's see, why oh, yeah, cast. I will change the font size. Yep. As you can see now. Wirecast lower thirds to ATM example one. Okay. Before we do anything, you must make sure that your laptop or your Mac for my 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 uh, for my setup is actually my MacBook Pro. I do have the Thunderbolt to HDMI uh, cable. Okay, so I connect the HDMI cable from the uh, Thunderbolt from the MacBook Pro to the port the HDMI port 3 on the television studio okay next you need to click on the broadcast select external display output to BDM HDMI with this you can send out the lower thirds to the uh, ATM television uh, switch. Okay. Once you have this ready, you need to do you need to do some setup on the uh, ATM software control. Click on the downstream key. For my example, the fill source. And the key source is at the HDMI port 3. So, as you can see here, I have renamed it to third, short form for lower thirds. So, all the lower thirds from the wire cast from the power book will come to this input, which is the HDMI uh, port 3 on the ATM television studio switch. You need to select the fill source to where that input come from uh, on your switch I mean so for myself like I share with you earlier it's on the port the HDMI port 3 so I select my HDMI port 3 here okay next I, I remove the enable mask here and remove the pre multiplied key here for my settings I set to 10.6 and 100%. You need to play around with this to get the uh, proper exposure of the lower thirds on your final uh, program screen. Okay. Since I already created this uh, example wirecast lower thirds to ATM TV TVS I'll just click on go here it's ready and it's already appearing on my uh, multi view on the uh, ATM switch okay so what we we have to do now is actually 
to click on the downstream key one to display it see that's how I, 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 I use the lower thirds from the wire cards to the uh, ATM switch right now you can see there's a, a big question mark on the program output itself because that comes from the uh, wirecast application saying that look I did not detect any uh, video output so that question mark is actually a, a, a warning sign to you that you don't have any video projected if you do have any video you won't see that question mark there so next how do we remove that question mark from the wire cards? First, we need to go back to the uh, our finder, look for the application folder, and the wire cards application. Click on Show Package Contents. Go to the Contents folder, and go to the Resources. Here, look for a file name missing which is this one missing.jpg and rename this missing I will say re rename like that or you can just rename to whatever uh, file name that you you want right next we go back to the wirecast application and we need to close it quit this uh, yeah, I will click save and boom I will launch again the Wirecast application take some time Okay, now you can see that there's no question mark here. Okay, external display out, you must set it to uh, HDMI the BMD HDMI as you can see now you can see the uh, lower thirds displayed there uh, without the question mark so this is how I use the uh, wire cards to the ATM uh, switch so if you have any uh, feedback or any suggestion that you would like to share do uh, drop me a comment or email me I'll show you some other example that I've uh, already created or I'll just create one new just create add the logo So put the YouTube logo here. Just resize it there and put it up there. And I click go. You can see the YouTube logo on the screen itself. There's a uh, some other example that uh, I did, which is uh. Uh, I create a movie, simple movie from the uh, uh, Final Cut Pro and resize it small and make it uh, as a lower third like this this is the static one and this is a video lower third Thank you for watching.